Got it. <gasps> Meeting is now streaming live on Facebook. So I know, right? So I closed mine so I don't see it. <laughs> uh -huh. Otherwise it echoes and, you know, I get distracted going, oh, look, I have to get my hair done today. Or, oh, I better, better it, do something. <laughs> hey. Just actually, it's like it's all there. Today's the day. This is why this is this. Today is the day I get to go and get my gray and my blonde and everything put back in my hair. Beautification. Well, um, but you always look beautiful. So I love you, Karen. Okay. You're one of my favorite people. That's why I can't wait to introduce you to the girls, you to the network, to, uh, you know, what's going on here. So uh, good morning, sunshine. Good morning to you. Let's uh, start off this the way that I start this off, which is imperfectly. And kind of my purpose for doing these little Woohoo Wednesdays, these little, I don't know, interviews, I guess I want to call them. I don't want to be responsible for a podcast. Mm -hmm. um, you know me pretty well. You know, I love to keep my life in 20 hours a week or less for work. So if I committed yeah. to a podcast and I'd have to go get a bunch of shit and lights and speakers and right. All the editing and everything else. I've totally thought about that many times. And um, and then I get overwhelmed by all the the stuff that is required. So I was like, this is pretty amazing to be able to just like sit here and chat and do your thing and not have all the stuff. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. And the the our girls here in the women in business networking community that know us so far know I love to do it imperfectly. I'm super raw, super transparent. Yeah. That's how I think most people want to, that's who they want to hang out with in the world. They want to hang out with authentic humans. It's one of my Absolutely. big coaching things, as you know. For sure. So um I also believe that we buy from people we like. We want to buy from people we like. Right. We want to support people we like. So that's why this isn't all business. It's a little bit of get to know you. A little sure. bit to get to know. So, so they can get to know you like I know you. Um, everybody, this is Farron. Farron, everybody. Hi. Hello. And uh, she'll add all, she'll drop all of her contacts and everything at the end. But <clears throat> Farron, when did we meet? What do you think? This is off script. Like eight years nine ago? Nine years ago. Nine years ago. Yeah, I had just moved to Cabo nine years ago. <laughs> and you were doing a like a dream builders like little workshop so, that yeah um kind of a mini session that was a couple hours over in a conference room over off the highway in front of oh in front of Home Depot yeah it, that's exactly right. in front okay, of Home I, I, I got it that's right yeah so that was our our first interaction I remember seeing something online and people talking about it probably in the Cabo Mommies group. <laughs> like, and um, I was like, that sounds like something I want to be part of. And then right. it was over. The rest was history. We were hooked. We were hooked. I was fell in love with you. And I'm just like one of the coolest things. And then I ever. signed up. I signed up for a session with you. And then I started coaching. Right. So, so that's one of the greatest benef that benefits. Benef yeah, benefits is that I consider you part of my inner circle, like my my in here girlfriends I love so much um you know I mean like really love you so much and Same. we started with a business relationship right a coaching relationship and we've continued that for now nine years but yeah. we, we so it's really cool because you will you're great at this you'll switch a hat and go hey I need coaching and then right. I'll be Hey, what are we doing to get the kids, you know, scheduled yeah. for school this Time year? Time to go to the spa. Like, yeah. Oh, we have spa days. What are we doing yeah. for Fourth of July? <laughs> it's the best. It's the best. Yeah. So it's so great. Okay. So um, I am going to hit record on this just to be safe, but I usually upload it from Facebook to tell you the sure. truth. So where's my little record button? Record to the cloud. Okay. Better for you than me. It's like. Yeah, I do it from the, I yeah, I do it from Facebook for you know, again, make it simple, but you'll be right. able to find it. You'll be able to find it on my YouTube channel, which has just a little bit on it. Cool. And then you can use it if you want. So ah, where are you from, Farron? Tell everybody where you're from. And by I, the way, we're gonna take about 30 minutes this morning because I have a client yeah. at nine. So we gotta 
Cutter. Make it happen. Um, I was born in Texas, raised in Oklahoma, and then went back to Texas. I uh, went to college in Texas. So, and then was there for several years after popped around a little bit um, with like job relocations and whatnot in corporate and realized I didn't want to do corporate. And then that was kind of my, I guess, my growing up years. What I call them the same things. Those were yeah. my growing up years, my 20s and 30s. Yeah, we're like growing up, growing into business years. Right, so, kind of so figuring grateful. yourself out years. Like, then I was like, oh, cool. Now I know how I am. I like this. Like, I'm going to settle in like here on this one. Yeah. Yeah, I love it. I like it. Well, there is a fair amount of this is not it for me. So yeah, that's what brings us to where we are now where we're entrepreneurs, right? Totally, totally. And, and that's, I guess, where I was like, oh, I like this, like, you know, just kind of trying to figure out what works and what doesn't work. And, and to your point, the not it's because that was definitely not, not what I was looking for in some of those other areas, yeah. but yeah. Okay. Yes or no. Here we go. Introvert okay. or extrovert? Which are you? Ooh, introvert. <sighs> Me too. Isn't it funny? People think, yeah. people think that these charismatic people are all extroverts. I know. I know, like great with my friends, definitely different level. And when I'm in the store and when I'm connecting with people, like it's genuine, mm -hmm. um, but just my natural, like my natural state that I was kind of like, I just am like, I'm good. I don't have it. Yeah. You need to go back and refuel. I got to go. Right. Back and refuel. Yeah, yeah, totally. Yeah, yeah. It's kind of exhausting, especially like travel. I feel it a lot. Like traveling for work, I go crazy because then I'm like, <laughs> Like there's so much on and I don't have like a time to, to hide. Um, so I definitely need that. So I want you to think about that really quick. Okay. I was thinking, cause I know that we talked that you just did a ton of travel to the stores yeah. the last two weeks. So just, this is for you. I want you to think about how can I make that as effective, less draining. Just, that's right. it. just write it down. There's a way I know there's a way sure. cause uh, yeah. Okay. I'm going to have a hot flash. I always seem to have hot flashes when I get doing these things. Okay. Uh, night owl or early bird, which is it? I'm kind of in between. Um, it's more of like, I, I'm like a flow person. If I had to pick, I, I, I would love to be up at 5 a.m. every day. Like morning is my jam and I would love to be in bed by 9.30. But yeah, but I tend to also flow a little bit more you know like obviously like flexible for social or flexible yeah. for my kids or like ki if kids don't go to bed till 9 30 then I'm mm -hmm. you know still yeah, kind yeah. of closing up so I flow but I prefer prefer my, me yeah. too 9 30 is 9 30 if my butt's not in bed by 9 30 something crazy's gone on yeah right? I have my like aura ring that's like telling me it's bedtime so <laughs> it's like, you should go to bed now. That's exactly what yeah. I have. It's like, you got 15 minutes, shut her down, woman. That's right. Yeah. So great. Okay, cool. Tell me, and, and I know you have a lot of these, but tell me some of your favorite mental wellness resources, like books, podcasts, people. So I'm talking about mental wellness, right? Mindset, well-being. Yeah, I, yeah. I think like mental wellness for me is more than just books, podcasts, all those things. Like, I mean, I have, um, because mental, like to have mental wellness for me, I still have to exercise. I well, still looking have at to your guns. I, I know that, but keep going. Yeah. I know you look so great. like, I feel like, um, like, you know, to have the mental, it is, it like, it's super important that I have my meal prep and my food. So it's, it's funny. I I'd like to, I'm not a meditator. I want to be, I try to be. <laughs> it's so like I just think it's so freaking cool and then I see these people and I'm like I'm gonna sit there and my brain's like like I'm not a meditator and so then you know people are like quit like let go of the definition of meditation like just let it be what it is and I'm sitting there so I try it's a work in progress um I, yeah well I, yeah. I, I try mental that. health yeah. you know I'm good with um, I do a lot. I read a ton. This I know. Audiobooks, um, 
because like I do a lot of audiobooks primarily because whether I'm hiking or I'm going or I'm cleaning or I'm showering, it's like in my car. So, and that's a huge aspect of mental health for me too, because it, I think the mental health in conjunction with personal development yes, is like what keeps my brain. Yeah. Cool. Well, you've Calm. definitely shared a bunch of those with uh, me and the mastermind group. So thanks for that. So give me it. one or two audios or books or whatever that you say these these are like in my arsenal yeah i um or authors whatever sure like gabby bernstein's one that i've been listening to lately where she's just kind of like fun and funky and just like right. all the spiritual woo woo goodness has been uh -huh. like a good one to like let go of things um or just like see the greater greater good yeah um, I'm always huge with like Tony Robbins, anything, um, you know, as far as like, uh, like whether it's conferences, that's a big aspect, like un UPW, the Unleash the Power Within and all the different things that you can engage in for personal development and all the books and the audio and the podcasts. So, um, and then it's funny, a lot of the things that he talks about or the people that he engages with then I'm just kind of like piggybacking on whatever, you know, I think when we find somebody that we like and love, and then we start to understand like who are their people mm -hmm. and then kind of have that bubble of books or authors or podcasts and, you know, people that they bring on. And so I've enjoyed sprouting from, um, from those things too. Right. It's, it's one of the things like we talked about the woo woo. And then of course, yeah. you know, Tony Robbins, Anthony, um, yeah. something that the great thought leaders out there, when we're talking about these right. guys, um, cause we have different mentors and yeah. doesn't mean, you know, we have different mentors, but the messages are all the same. They're just delivered di differently. So I encourage people, you know, if you keep hearing the same thing, you might hear it differently when it's going to land. That's right. right. And it does. And like, and their style, their communication style, because some of it's like pretty intense. And then some like John Maxwell and like, he, like, he feels good. Like I like him right. too. And it's you, the same thing. So it's just like, what's your style? What do you right. Do? You go back to some of the old basics, like the old school Jim Rohn's, you know what? Totally. Message is the same kids. Right. Foundation. <laughs> you know? Foundation. You know, I don't know if I ever told you this, but this is crazy. When I was about 12 years old, my dad, um, I, when we were growing up, I was like, I want allowance. Everybody gets allowance. Like, what can I do to get money? And he would never pay us. My parents would never give us money for allowance. It's like, God, they're so mean. Like they would give us money for whatever we needed, but like, I wanted my money. Yeah. You wanted your freedom money. Yeah. And, um, the only thing that I could get money for at the time uh, before I started, they started like putting me to work in their businesses. Uh -huh. um, the only thing I could do at the time was he would give, he gave me, I had this purple tape deck with all the Anthony Robbins tapes in it. And I could listen to a tape and write a paper on the tape, like a little summary statement and turn it into him. He didn't know that I had like the cliff notes, like the little paper notes that came ah, that came and inside the window. Would, like, like, here we go. And and maybe he did know and he thought it, you know, he didn't care. Cause if I listened to the tape and even if I wrote what was written on the Cliff Notes right. version of the paper, I was still absorbing You're you know, engaged. goodness. Yeah. And so I just think about like mental, the like foundation of what we're able to do for ourselves and like for our kids and and for others. And so um, yeah, super funny. No, I do know that story because I've known you long ah, enough. I've known you long enough that I remember uh, that's how you got paid was from yeah. transcribing your Anthony Robbins. Yeah, it's like Robbins. I love it now with my kids. It's like I'll pay them to read a good book. Or something. Like, ugh, just like so. Here's there. something I'm gonna piggyback on this really quick about you. So, how old are you? Forty-two. Oh God, and we're still friends, and you're so old we're still friends i know i'm almost 43 i know are you gonna ditch me 
56. Remember that lady that said, oh, is this your daughter? I, that was, I was so gutted over that. I was gutted. Anyway. Um, I just look so young. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for letting the gray come in. It's going to make things look I better. know, right? So great. my Corella DeVille. I love it. It's so, you're so pretty. So here's the thing that I want to bring up about that, other than how pretty you are, is that here's somebody, ladies, who's grown up in personal development, grown up in it. So we can go ahead and say 30 years of applying that and still right. drinks it up and eats it up. And again, I don't know that you're searching for something new as much as you are going, oh, I'm at a different place in my life. And this is landing perfectly right now. You know, that's one of the things that God's spirit source universe does for you is they put these things in your way for you to pay attention to the signs. That's right. um, and you know this, I've been teaching courses for more than a decade now, 11 years since I started teaching groups. Right. And a lot of people repeat the, the classes with me, you know, the course with me. And they're kind of like, oh my God, I don't remember this. I go, curriculum's the same. You've changed. Yeah. Well, it's no different. We talk about like rereading books, rereading your book is a perfect example. There's a reason and it like, it's short enough that you don't have to be like, oh, I have to read that book again. No, like, of course you just like do it because it's crazy. The, the things that we take away in the moment, but then, you know, maybe calendarizing wasn't right for somebody in that moment because they had so much structure in their life. They didn't need it. And then all of a sudden they went from being this um, like executive in a structured workplace to then going to entrepreneurship. And then it's like all hell breaks loose because they haven't created structure for themselves. So there's always those things. Like yeah. Transition. Thanks for the, thanks for the plug on the book. Honey. Yeah. <laughs> um, okay. Really quick. What's your love language is either words of affirmation. I know mine. Physical touch, gifts, access, service, or quality time. I know mine too. What's yours? Yeah, um, mine is quality time and acts of service. So, which is so like hard in my life. When it was like my, of course, Andrew's. My husband's is um, physical touch and of words course. of affirmation. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and you're like, are you freaking kidding me? Like, I have to tell you I love you. Don't you just yeah. know? I yeah, I'm you every day. I'm pooped, really. Yeah, that phys like, those, okay. phys those physical touch and, and words of affirmation people. I'm I'm a words of affirmation people. We're exhausting, right? And I'm also um, acts of service, right? That's great. Yeah, <laughs> acts of service is easy for me. You know, like obviously, like when we were seeing, like it's easy to, you know, like how can I help you? What can I do? Yeah. Um, but the words and the physical. My sister and mom would always tell me, they were like, you're not a great, it's funny. I'm from Texas. I love hugs. Like I'm mm -hmm. a hug. I like to think that I'm a hugger, mm -hmm. but my sister tells me all the time, I am not a hugger. So I don't know if it's like this emotional, you know, when you're kind of like, uh, like whatever, but I think I'm a hugger. I don't know. I've always thought you're a hugger. Yeah, I think I'm a hugger too. I'm gonna. I'm, I'm gonna now. That. I'm gonna pay attention to that. Now you're gonna make me pay attention to that. No, because now I'm just gonna like come all in for the hug. <laughs> <laughs> I'm coming in. Do a big Texas style. That's right. So tell us about your business. I put just a teeny little blurb up there that says, you know, meet Farron. Sure. And I didn't tag you in it because I didn't know if you wanted a whole bunch of like yays yet in the morning. But, um, and it said, meet Farron, who took her business from her living room. This is what's yeah. like so yummy about hanging out with you and so inspiring is that you literally started your business as a little pop-up in your living room. And, and that was five years ago, six years ago now. No, we, our anniversary for our first store was seven years ago now. Oh, see, so seven five. years ago this month. Um, Happy however, anniversary. Yeah. It was in August, it'll be eight years for when I started in my living room. Okay. So, so tell us, tell yeah. us about your business. Cause we're, we've got women in the group that are brand new. I've talked to a lot yeah. of them there. As you know, I have an appointment setter. You guys, it's been reaching out to you 
um, and kind of vetting you. I know that sounds weird, but there's a certain, you know, self-employed business owner or executive kind of on their own who needs another place to go be safe in a supportive environment to share and to ask and to do all these things, right? Right. Uh, a place of non-competition. Absolutely. Right? There's, there's enough for everybody that, you know, all boats rise in the high tide. So I know that you are going to be a super inspiration because looking at your success now, as I know you, I don't think people understand that you started in your living room. No, it's so funny. The things that we, um, you know, like, oh, they had like an overnight success, right? That they Of your rental house. I'd like to point that out. Of a rental house. Uh Uh-huh. I'm just saying, it's like, you know, it's not like people, it, anyway, I so admire you. Keep going. Sorry. I just get super yeah. excited, Karen. I get so excited about you. Go ahead. So my, my, ba- we were in corporate. I owned a spa in Dallas, wasn't fulfilled. We came to Cabo, kind of packed up, sold the business. Um, we're looking for something more, had no idea what we were looking for. I was traveling back and forth to the States doing consulting. Andrew, well, my husband decided to take t- two years off, took a couple years off, hung out with kids and was just decompressing from stock, like oil and gas. Um, And then for me, I was in, I was at the house. And one of the ideas that I had, was like, oh, we don't have shopping here. I love storytelling. Um, And so I loved being able to share other people's stories and for them to connect with it. And, um, and when we would have friends and family come in town and stay with us, they would say, where can we go and shop? So like, good luck. They're like, we just didn't have shopping here. We didn't have anything like that. And so through that, um, I was talking to my neighbor at the time. I was like, what can I, you know, I want to start going around Mexico and finding things and bringing things in to bring Mexico to Cabo. Because I think one thing people don't understand about Cabo is that Cabo is such a young city and being such a young city here, they, we didn't have, we don't have the, a lot of the indigenous culture that comes with being part of Mexico that's like the people and the art and all of the amazing the colors and you know and yeah amazing many times it feels more like California than it does Mexico yep you hear people that come on vacation they're like hey I'm going to Mexico and you're like nah you're like staying at a resort in Cabo you know they don't really know what Mexico is so I had this idea that I wanted to start bringing Mexico to Cabo. Yes. And by doing so, like finding products, bringing things here and just sharing them and Cabo to Cabo, like bringing local people even like to have that opportunity. So we did the pop-ups at my house once a month um, for three months. And then I figured out I should probably do something more than one day. Um a month and started doing farmer's markets and like the organic markets. My husband would give me a hard time about spending more money in gas than I ever made. Yeah. Really fun. Um, so like schlepping the tent and the table and all the stuff and the setup and the tear down every day and long days. And, um, and it was just my dog and I, and so we did that, uh, for the first, I guess like for six months and then six months in, I real he was telling me it was like you got to get this out of our house because it was taking oh it was in the garage in the living room and then we're setting up I was making a store every time we had people over so um decided to rent a space and start traveling more in Mexico to be able to have that uh, opportunity to share more products with people and for them to have a space to come to I was getting a lot of calls where people would say. Um, like, where are you? We're not going to be in for the Palmia market. You know, can you come to my hotel? And I was like, oh, you know, like I'm bringing boxes of stuff to people's hotel to like sell a dog collar. Yeah. Yeah. It was pretty rough. So um, all that to be said. So that's when the birth of our first store was open seven years ago this month. Tell so, everybody the name. Yeah. Uh, Eclectic Array. So Eclectic Array is the name of our parent company since then. We pretty much added the first couple of years, we added one store a year, just natural, very organic. It was like, people would say, oh, you need something in San Jose. It's too far to drive to Cabo. Okay, perfect. We open another store. 
And then we we loved floor farms and the concept. So we opened another store and then Montage, they asked us, they, they sought us out and actually asked if we would do curate a location for them. And so like, it's just really been um, a beautiful organic process in all the openings. And so to be able to see this idea of having some stores to then now really our business, we curate aside from the stores that are standalone, um, we really curate locations for high-end hospitality. And so we're in Four Seasons, St. Regis, Montage, a Hyatt property, which is like really Rancho Pescadero. So we have several hotels now where we've curated a unique collection for them. And so whereas most like if you're going and shopping at the Gap, you walk in and they all look the same. Right. Ours are curated to that destination or to that hotel. So it's its its own unique collection. It may not be the same products or the same um, designers or the things that are in there. So it's been super fun and really creative because the name Eclectic Ray, I'll tell you, came because I have, uh, I think I have like commitment issues. I didn't want to have like one thing that we sold. So I remember talking to my mom about this when we first, I was like looking for a name and she said, um, you, you know, I was like, I don't know what it's going to be. And I don't know what it's going to be today or tomorrow, but uh, so eclectic array, like a variety of a lot of, you know, unique things. Like it just, it, it needed to be that. So that's what it's been. I'd love your story. So I want you to share something else that's a li little bit deeper because you are a great storyteller, but we have to keep it shorter. Yeah, but I, absolutely. There's so much good in what you do. And, right. and that's one of the cores. I, you know, you know this about me. When people sign up with me, there's a component of philanthropy or donating absolutely. or you want to look. If somebody, right. if somebody signs on with me, they a portion of their program goes to charity. I know that you have created jobs and you've created a culture. Right. Can you share a little bit about that with everybody? Yes. So highlighting, um, we have our mission in our company is to give sustainable living wages to, and to primarily indigenous and impoverished artisans across Mexico and Latin America. That's how we started. From that, we realized we were really just creating amazing opportunities for people. And so it was so much bigger than that because we were also working with designers that they also were supporting artisans across the countries as well. And then we have 55 amazing women on our team right now. Actually, we just brought in two more. So I think we have 57 right now. So 57 incredible women across Mexico. Um, and then we have um, Debbie, can't forget Debbie in the US that helps us with our fulfillment <laughs> shipping. So she's like holding the Go board. Debbie. Go Debbie. Go um, Debbie. But it's so amazing because to having our team um, here. So I love that. And a huge aspect of it is really developing people. So the culture, it, it started with a mission to uplift people, to give them a leg up, to yes. give micro loans and to help them to be able to grow their business, to empower them, to be able to do more, um, whether it was for their personal life or for their business. And then we realized, oh, wow, we can do that with our own team. And so now it's like we have book clubs for our team and we have all sorts of things that we do to we have team trips every year that we're pouring into them and trying to build them up and teach them and give them the tools and create just a really amazing culture um, that's pretty unique uh, that I, I think is pretty unique. I yeah, know it is. It's so and, special. Um, it's so special. You've even had leader. your teams attend my vision workshops like that's so right. they could do it on their own. It's not a, I'm going to produce. I'm going to hold you here so you don't That's see right. what your potential is. It's like right. you do you, be happy doing you, and they take yeah. as good a care of you as you take a care of them. I see that. Abs, it is so reciprocal, and I mean, we do masterminds for them for them to better their life. It's not about how can you be better for me. It's like how can you be better for you? Because when you're better for you, you'll be. Um, amazing for all of us and whatever term that looks like that's a gift oh hear that ladies that I mean that's the thing I and it's such a you and I completely agree on that platform and on that right. basis right and that we are all uh, put here with our own unique gifts 
Mm, and I think absolutely. I just want to, I want to say something and then I'm going to ask you another question. Sure. I, I love using you here on this platform and Chewy's doing much better. My dog fell hey, from 15 Chewy. feet and got all broken up, but you hear barking. Anyway, sorry about that. Um, is that because you decided to show up, mm -hmm. look at all the people that have been impacted. Just because you decided to show up and move out and, and show up in something that was, you were passionate about. Yeah, in faith, I think. Absolutely know? in faith. And you reached Just out. Just having that like blind faith, that confidence that you're made for something more. Um, and figuring out, like, I think connecting to your passion. Yes. And the passion, I need to point this out because I talked to enough people now. It's like, well, I'm just a bookkeeper. Oh, no, no, no. I just had a half an hour conversation with my bookkeeper yesterday. And I'm so grateful for her because she's, that's her genius. Yeah. And I'm like, everybody, if you don't have a bookkeeper, I don't care how small your business, act as if your business is big enough to have sure. a bookkeeper. Let them be in their genius because it allows you to spend more time in your genius, right? Absolutely. Absolutely. My, I have to tell you, my executive assistant that's also um, like project manager for me, she's freaking amazing. She told me the other day, we're our book club, one of our book club books this month is The Happiness Advantage. Okay. And she messaged me and she said, I love this book. And it says that I shouldn't call my work work, that I'm going to call it my calling. And I was like, I love that. Like, why do we not call our work like our calling and connect with it in a way that's not just like, like whether you're a bookkeeper or you're a janitor. Yes. You are serving. Yes. And so to look at it as yeah. like calling and then to be able to, to morph into whatever you, maybe you're not happy in that profession and you want something, but you have a beautiful purpose in life to show yeah. up each day. To show up for, and, and the, the why me or not enoughness or I don't deserve is such bullshit that anyone yeah. thinks you for that. Yeah. Um, where do you see yourself in three years? You do such amazing vision work. I already know that you see this. I have to let my stalking dog out because it has to go see Chewy the Chihuahua. Hold, please. But Amazing. Have that question. Yeah. Okay. Perfect. Okay. Well, where's my puppy? Yeah. Jack. All I right. Have a three years. At my feet too. Um, Best. So three years, man. I think that's like, it's so funny as much vision work as I do, I still have such a hard time answering that question just because I feel like when we're in our zone, yep. that there's so much more than we can ever imagine that like the plans are greater than what we could create on our own. Right. And so, um, I mean, I see, we have multiple divisions of our company. I see massive empowerment for people, for our team and for our artisans. And so not to be general and vague, but I know that we'll have um, exponential store growth or like we have a gifting division as well that does gifting and events. Meraki, right? Uh, what Meraki, yeah, Meraki objects. And then we have, um, we have wholesale, we like our online sales. Like I just think that from a business perspective, we're going to have this continued explosion uh, from our, our people our people. And, um, and that just really excites me for them. For me personally, I'm super excited to also have a little bit of, um, like happy me time too, that gives me like the opportunity to have a creative, to spend more time in strategy and creative, um, because you spend so much time as an entrepreneur and whatnot doing, 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 and then you're like, wait a minute, I have to step back and spend more time in strategy. And so that's my, my phase that I'm moving into. The strategy phase. And I'm going to kind of freak you out here. Tell me. In three years, you will possibly have two kids in university. Uh, yeah. I know. It's so crazy to think about. 
And then it's I'm like, so wait crazy. a minute, I need like the strategy phase now and the chill time now, and then I can ramp up when they're gone. Like, what am I doing? Well, that's, that's kind of backwards, but yeah, it's kind of, you can do it both, whatever, you know, what I I mean? know. you're, you're, you guys are so present and so great with your kids. You know, you can have yeah. it all. It's yes. And one of my favorite. Absolutely. Things. Well, then I can go strategy and travel and go visit them. Like, yes, I travel too. Well, that's why you have enough team now. You've built it to have right. enough team. One of the things that I always uh, share with, and you know this, I share with my clients and people that work with me is I said, get out your calendar and block you time. Totally. Self-care, which includes right. vacations and travel and blah, blah, blah. Self-care time for the next year. Do it. Absolutely. Do it first. And in my case, you know, my, a lot of my self-care is right. spending time with my family. I just have such a crush on them. I love them. I'm stalking them. As you know, I'm moving to friggin'. I mean, I bought that house in Bellingham and now I got two kids going into university in British Columbia. I know I I'm going to, I'm trying to influence Eli to like go to university in Spain so that I can follow him. <laughs> like, Does he want to go into archi architectural? Idea? It's really great for architects. And Spain's got a great university yeah, like, for architects. You're amazing. Come on. There's so many things, so many like great travel places you can go for the weekend. Don't you want to do that? Right. Oh, well, anyway, so um, any, any questions? for me or the mastermind or the group or comments, like, you know, what's a wrap? What's, what's a wrap in our last four minutes? And then the you next know, I think what? you said something, you said something, we were talking about time just in general. And, um, and I was going to say, I just read this book and I may have mentioned this to you in our mastermind. Did I mention the book, buy back your time? Yes. Okay. Because I think that that's one that I would share with people too, because I think that when we're sitting here and we're crazy and we're overwhelmed, but we don't recognize that we, we have more time than we really, like we, we can find more time. Yes, 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 so yes. It's not just the calendarizing, but it's also how we, how we delegate and how we use that, um, those tools. So it, it was a really good one for me that, um, you know, thinking about being in strategy and transitioning into more of a creative mode and for expansion, I want to keep remembering that I need to, um, like buy back some time to be able to do that too. Thank you. Cause I know you're a giant fan and like an expert at calendarizing. So when you give advice on yes. a book, buy back your time, then I write it down and now I'm going to get it. Uh, and I'm going to tell you, like I said, you know, I've got my appointment setters uh, vetting and inviting women to this group. Cause I'm sorry, I'm being very particular. It's quality, not quantity, right? Absolutely. And um, you'd be amazed how many people say, I don't have time. That's Always. exactly go why you need to go and learn how mm -hmm. you do. Mm -hmm. you, you do have enough time. We all have the same 24 hours in a day. It's how we right. feel it and what we do it with. It's so funny. Somebody uh, constantly sends me stuff on Instagram. I don't do Instagram very much. You guys, my, my executive assistant does a lot of that. I approve all the posts. I don't do a lot of it unless it's personal. And I'm like, this is somebody that's like, I've been so busy. I just don't have the time. It's like, but yet you sit there and scroll on social and just send me shit nonstop. So where, yeah, where'd that time come from? It, it, exactly. And, and downtime. Choice. I'm a giant fan of downtime. And if right. you don't have enough time, there is a problem mm -hmm. that needs to be addressed. Constantly running on, I don't have time is not a solution. Right. So Sorry, I get off my soapbox. You know me. I, I know. I love it. I want to know, um, I want you to tell people how they find you. I want you to share like your sure. website. I want them to any, your social, anything, because you're just such a yummy human and Thank so you. worth and so strong and so great and so yummy. So, Thank you. Yeah. Um, Instagram is like at Farron Clark, uh, F-A-R-Y-N, Facebook, Farron Masso Clark. LinkedIn is Farron Masso Clark. My S -S -O. website, what's that? SSO, Masso, SSO. Yeah, M-A-S-S-O. So, um, and, and we can post that in our little thing so it's all spelled out. But, uh, and website is 
www.eclecticarray. I know that's a mouthful. I should have thought that one through. Eclecticarray.com. E-C-L-E-C-T-I-C-A-R-R-A-Y.com. And then Meraki Objects is our gifting. So MerakiObjects.com is our gifting and events division too. So. Well, and ladies, go jump on the mailing list and go see all the yummy stuff. I need new, yeah. I need new callers. Yeah, thank you. Chewy gets a new collar, I realized. <laughs> uh, that's right. It's time time for shopping. Baron, Shoot. I love you so much. I Thank love you, you too. Just doing you. And, um, you know, a lot of times when we just do us, we forget that we're modeling for others. What's mm -hmm. possible for one is possible for everyone. Um, so, for sure. For sure. There's no genius behind it. It's just showing up. It's just showing up. Okay, sister. Love you. Have a love great you too. Day. Have a great day. Bye, babe. Bye.